Yeah, one lawmaker who knows firsthand just how exhausted hospital crews were during the pandemic is sponsoring a measure looking to hold hospitals accountable for adequately staffing their facilities. But some lawmakers say that it's a one-size-fits-all solution that doesn't account for smaller hospitals. With 37 I votes, 27 no votes, and one excuse, House Bill 1401 is adopted. Representatives passed a measure that will require every hospital in the state to establish a nurse staffing committee. That committee will have to create a staffing plan and they'd have to submit that plan to CDPHE. The committee would need to be in place by September 1st of this year. A quick turnaround, but bill sponsor and ER nurse Kyle Mullica says hospitals can handle it. We've laid the foundation with some rulemaking already at CDPHE uh, and so a lot of these hospitals are already creating these staffing committees. We just want to make sure that those nurses and those healthcare workers uh, have a voice there and that we are looking at what staffing truly looks like uh, and metrics on individual unit levels and that's what this bill is calling for. After the nursing committee submits the plan, their hospital would have to post the plan on their website and evaluate it quarterly based on staff and patient recommendations. The hospitals would also have to report their bed capacity, needing to have at least 80% of their beds staffed. If they failed to meet requirements, they would face fines of up to $10,000 per day, a stipulation some lawmakers say would burden smaller facilities. And these fines will kill small rural hospitals. I look at this as another attack on rural Colorado, widening the rural and urban divide. I vote no on this bill. And House Republicans moved to hold this bill until next week, hoping to give rural hospitals some more time to negotiate on this measure. But that plan failed, and the bill is now on to the Senate for their consideration. In Denver, Gabrielle Franklin, Fox 31.